For the past 13 months the usually upbeat star had been grappling with the immensely painful facial condition trigeminal neuralgia, Tennessee. In May 2021 Ding Dong experienced her first Tennessee flare-up, something she says she'll never forget. Describing the pain as unbearable and searing, Denise reveals it became so intense she struggled to breathe. It was like a white-hot lightning bolt that would shoot across my face. The tiniest thing set it off, like smiling, brushing your teeth or hair, or blowing your nose. The star says the agonizing episodes became more excruciating and frequent, and she would experience around five attacks a day. So bad did things become, Denise struggled to get up in the morning. I would inch myself up slowly, so as not to trigger it off. There were times that burst into tears, fearful of when it would next strike, she says. It became so debilitating that I bit the bullet, I was referred to a specialist who diagnosed trigeminal neuralgia. I thought to myself, this old chuck must be working her way through the medical book of horror illnesses. I was beginning to think my next car should be an ambulance, laughs the plucky star. Indeed, in the past four years she has endured a knee replacement, a blood clot in the leg fought a nasty staph infection and suffered with a detached retina. Never one to do things by halves, in October 2020 she fractured a shoulder in a nasty mishap while filming Holy Moly. For months after the fall, I cold and put on a bra or take off a t-shirt, she says. But worst of all, I cold and remove the cork from a bottle of bubbly following Denise's Tennessee diagnosis, she underwent regular acupuncture therapy, which provided some pain relief, but was not a cure. That I cold and go out, cold and have fun with friends, cold and smile, cold and cuddle my grandkids, or go to work. Denise kept her painful ordeal quiet for fear of being seen as a hypochondriac. I seemed to be lurching from one medical horror to the next and thought people would be sick to death of hearing about my latest malady. To know my two boys, Rob and Pete, were worried sick upset me, she says, noting that when her eldest grandson Bodhi, 10, remarked, Nanny, I wish you weren't in pain, she burst into tears. Denise was told by her Tennessee specialist that brain surgery was the best bet in terms of finding lasting relief. The notion of brain surgery terrified me. But it tried everything else, from medication to an array of other treatments. In utter despair I agreed to fly to Sydney to undergo the surgery, which I did in June. The surgery lasted two and a half hours, and it left me with a small scar at the base of my head near my right ear, which is now healing beautifully. Dr. Ben Jonker, my neurosurgeon, must have learned sewing from the nuns, she chuckles. From the moment the anesthesia wore off, I felt different, and there was no pain. I couldn't believe it. Over a month on still no pain. I've got my fun-filled old life back. Indeed, Denise has emerged from a complete nightmare and is confident in saying there's a sense of normalcy again. My energy is back. And it's fabulous to play with my grandkids, Bodhi, Xavier, and Heidi. To cuddle my darling fluffball Mr. DD. To be back in the kitchen cooking for my family. To be enjoying life again. My message to anyone suffering horrendous pain is go and see a doctor. Don't put it off. 
If you are diagnosed with Tennessee, do your research, there are some terrific support groups that provide invaluable assistance and try to find the best neurologist you can. There's no need to suffer in silence. I learned that lesson the hard way.